I said just a little bit ago, actually probably just a clip before this, that we had a super top secret special announcement for you. Guess what it is. Okay. And we'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Good morning, you guys. I just realized I just finished editing the vlog and I haven't said a single thing to you today. I don't know if Ashley has either, so this might be the first time we see you. So good morning. And it is late. <laughs> it's like two o'clock or something. And I haven't picked up the camera. Talk about a vlogging fail today. Uh, but uh, as you can see, it's been a lazy day because I still have my glasses on, which means I haven't showered. I feel gross. So I'm probably going to do that as soon as I stop talking to you guys. Uh, but I think we're going to try and go out to the park or something today. Uh, but you guys, I have the entire week off. I might work a little bit Friday, but this is crazy. I haven't had this much time off in years. Like literally the longest time I've had off in the past four years has been about two weeks max. And that's like once a year. It feels really weird. <laughs> and luckily, we have some savings and so I'm not really worried too much, but it's like, you start to get, like you start to think about it like, wow, I'm not making any money right now. Cause I'm not on paid vacation. I'm just like not working. So uh, anyways, but if you think random side topic, ADD brain going off here, the two week vacation thing in American society is kind of messed up. If you think about other cultures, they get way more time off than we do. In two weeks off for the entire year, I mean, it's what we're used to, but like, that's like the base, like, let me start over a rewind. Two weeks off is kind of like the stereotypical standard, what most jobs get off in a year is two weeks vacation, paid vacation. That's so little. Think of how much you work compared to how much you're able to enjoy life. It's like, that's why you need to find a career and or a job where it doesn't feel like you're working. It's like something you enjoy doing. Does that make sense? Because otherwise, your life, if you don't enjoy your job, your life would be pretty miserable 90% of the time because you're at work at least half the day you're awake and then you work at least five out of the seven days a week if you're lucky. Some people work multiple jobs mo like nonstop. So it's like try and find a career and or a job that you at least kind of enjoy because if you're miserable in your job, you're gonna probably be miserable in your life. So that's just my chick tip for the day. Try and find a job that you enjoy. That's why I count myself so lucky because my, my hobby, my passion has been film since I was a kid. And so to be able to work on a TV show like Grimm and commercials and that kind of stuff, I mean, obviously there's down days and obviously there's days where I like don't wanna go to work and I'd rather just stay in bed and relax, but it's like, for the most part, I enjoy my job. So that is awesome. And that's also what attracted me to vlogging. To, I have such respect for those people that have built up such a YouTube channel that they can do vlogging and or short films or whatever it is on YouTube full time because that is like, that would be the dream job. You literally film your life or film short films. You can go wherever. And yes, technically you don't get vacations if you're a daily vlogger because you have to do this every single day. But even the people that do it full time say it's the best job ever. And it's, you never get a break from it. You don't really get a vacation, but it's the best job ever. So if that ever happens to me and Ashley and I get to do YouTube full time where I could do vlogging every day and also do short films and stuff like that, that would be a dream come true. That would be amazing. But until then, I still love my day job, which pays the bills, keeps the power on, keeps the roof over our head. So uh, anyways, my rant is over. I'm gonna go shower, cause like I said, I am still feeling kind of gross today. But I just wanted to say good morning to you guys. I hope you guys are having a good day and I will talk to you later. Baby Cheek is taking a bath right now because we just woke her up from her nap and she had the biggest blowout ever. It was... Quite wonderful, we'll just leave it at that. So instead of trying to wipe her down or whatnot, we're just like, pick her up, put her in the bathtub and rinse her off. Oh, you guys, check it out. She has her brand new Sheriff Woody shirt on. We'll have to show you everybody when you stand up. That blowout was disgusting. It was so smelly. The upstairs 
it still smells like poopy. Cause you had a massive blowout. I wonder how long you were lying there. I don't think Poor baby. Because she was still pooping when. Because Ashley went in and woke her up, and uh, Baby Chicken immediately was like, "Poopy, mommy, poopy," and apparently she was just she was super upset. So I don't know if she was like embarrassed, sad, uncomfortable, or like in pain, but like she was not happy for a long time. But we're doing good now because we got a banana, we just had some yogurt, and we got our cool Sheriff Woody shirt on, and then we are wearing socks with sandals, which you know. Who doesn't love doing socks and sandals, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the college professor look. Everybody likes socks and sandals. Look at that beautiful piece of artwork. I know, white hairy legs. Look you guys, Ashley and James, yeah I'm saying our names, are matching today. We're twinsies, babe, what do you think? I think that lately you've been videoing me a lot without makeup. <laughs> True. That is nice. Like Stop getting on up get a there, macro my shot of that. No, leg hair is galore. No, leg No. No, James. Wow, I just got reprimanded by not even a two-year-old. Elmo stickers? Did you go get more stickers, kid? Yeah. Oh, well, hold on, focus. There we go. Not, I mean, she some of them were gone. She used an entire sheet. No, some of them were already gone, but. Where yes. might she have used this? No stickers. Okay. Oh. Our mommy's. Sex and legs. Hey, show off, no, some, no, show no, off no, some skin, no. mommy. No, don't show off skin, Let's mommy. You taking Woody for a drive? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what was that? <laughs> you want more? Yeah. Only because you have the cutest shirt on ever. See, I'm adorable. I'm not, she is. Are you adorable? No. No. <laughs> Are you adorable? No. Are you sexy? No. Yeah. Are you sexy? I brought it back. Ha! Ah, darn it! I thought I pulled it off. <laughs> I had the attitude. No. I had the swagger. No! No, no swagger. Dinner? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Whee! Yeah, dinner time. Dinner time? You want to eat? Yeah. Say. Dinner. Dinner. Please. 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 Say thank you, mommy, for dinner. I can already tell it's gonna be delicious. It smells amazing. Can't wait to get it in my belly. Mmm, corn. <laughs> Is that your hot face? Mm. Show me your hot face. Go hot. <laughs> That's her new thing. When something's hot, she goes like. <sighs> it makes her hot face. Hot face. I'll give you some juice. Show me the hot face. <laughs> there you go. There's your juice. All right, you guys, I have a super secret, top secret announcement for you guys. Are you guys ready for the announcement? It's super top secret, ready? We're cleaning out the closets. 
No. But seriously, we do have an announcement for you guys that will be coming later today. It's not really super top secretness, whatever, but we do have an announcement. So stay tuned and get ready because it's going to be amazing. Say amazing. Amazing. No, but on a serious note, uh, this closet in here in my office, you might not notice this is my office because there's no giant green screen here. But this closet has been overflowing. As you can see, it's starting to pile up over here. And so we're clearing it out. If you can look, look at that. It's all empty over there because all that stuff is now out here on the counters and the floors. So we're just trying to kind of declutter a little bit, simplify and organize and make it so that it's more of a functional space. Because right now it's just kind of like all piled on top of each other and just been accumulating for the past two and a half years. So that's what we're doing right now. You guys, check it out. It is our wedding, what's it called? Guest book? Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of, oh, guess. Got some dust on it. Happy birthday, James. Alan, <laughs> AJ too. Hi, Ashley. Uh, Uncle AJ and Alan. They must have found it they, on your birthday? I wonder if they wrote it in their birthday or if that was there at the wedding. Punk or noodles. If you guys are watching this, did you guys do that at the wedding or was it recently at a birthday? Who else was there? Dave Vasquez, really? Dave Vasquez mm -hmm. came? And a shepherd. I haven't seen them in a while. So many fun people. Oh, ow! Is that a shepherd on the floor. At our wedding? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Crazy. But then you guys also check this out. I didn't know we had one of these. Yes, you did. <gasps> An Iron! Ashley, do you know what this is? This makes clothes straight. <laughs> I am the only one who's ever used it. Uh, neither of us ever ironed, but I honestly think in the two and a half years we've been in this house, this may have been used once, if that. No, it's been used more than that. I yeah. used it for some crafts. Okay, stuff. twice. <laughs> I've used it for crafts. Not for clothes, but for crafts. Sheesh. Anyways, but it's amazing what kind of stuff you can find when you uh, clean out this closet. But we're actually getting rid of stuff. We've gotten rid of like multiple trash bags. So I'm excited. We're getting rid of the clutter. All right, you guys. So baby chick is asleep. Um, actually, she's probably not asleep, but she's in bed. <laughs> uh, but I said just a little bit ago, actually probably just a clip before this, that we had a super top secret special announcement for you. And I lied. It's not top secret and it's not super special. Guess what it is. Okay. And we'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. You're a horrible person. It oh. has to do with Ashley and me. <laughs> no, <laughs> no uh, we're pregnant. We are? Yeah, I got a baby inside of me. Aww, how'd that happen? Just kidding. No, we're not. But Ashley was like, <laughs> we were just watching yesterday's vlog and uh, I, was, I was kept saying that Ashley wasn't feeling well or she was had an upset stomach or something because she was feeling poopy yesterday. And then she's like, oh, I had a headache. Yeah. I wasn't feeling poopy. And she's like, everybody's going to think I'm pregnant. And I was like, <laughs> oh yeah. And we have a top secret announcement today. So it's even more likely that people are going to think that. Yeah. But no, we're not. No. Trust me. We're not. Well, <laughs> but. Just got awkward. The super top secret announcement is, ready for it? Drum roll, please. What, did, what does he sing? What does he sing? When Joy he... to the world. <laughs> Joy to the world. <laughs> we are going to vlogger fair super excited about it actually it's cool because it is seattle is less than or about three hours from our house we got our tickets the other day we just barely made it into the early birds so we got the cheap tickets uh there are still tickets available if any of you guys live in the northwest it'd be sweet to meet you guys you or even if you don't if you want to fly out here kind of expensive to fly out but you know if you want to go for it uh, but let us know down below in the comments if any of you are going or if any of you aren't going, but there's a vlogger that is there that you would like me to meet and talk to. Let me know down below in the comments because I hope to meet a bunch of people. Uh, like, I would never. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 
at VidCon, there was vloggers that, or YouTubers that I didn't get to meet, such as like the Knife Knowles uh, and possibly even the Shaytards that uh, I wasn't able to meet just because there was so many people. So I'm hoping that I get a better chance to meet those guys and then also get to meet the people that I met at VidCon and just hang out with them more and get to know them more because it's cool that mm -hmm. you actually get to see these people in person that you don't ever get to talk to in real time, basically. You're just watching them talk to you. Kind of like I am to you right now. But anyways, you get the point. We're excited. Yeah. Going to Vlogger Fair. Oh, and Baby Chick is coming this time. Uh, mm -hmm. And there's some other people that are bringing their kids and we can actually meet families. So it'll be sweet. Uh, but I think that's it for today. I think we're going to go ahead and close the vlog. Yeah? Yeah, because we are finishing. My house is like a bomb. Yeah. Uh, we're going to clean a little bit. And then I think we're going to play some Lego Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Woo! Two long vlogs in a row. Great. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but my computer just tipped over. All good. All right. Anyways, like I was saying, two long vlogs in a row. Crazy. But we are super excited about Vlogger Fair. I can't wait to meet more people that I didn't get to meet at VidCon and just to hang out and the collaborations that will hopefully take place there. It's going to be sweet. But also, I want to make sure you guys comment down below and tell me who you want me to try and see while I'm there so that way you guys get to see me interacting with some of your other favorite vloggers. If any of you are around the Seattle area, I would love to meet you, so let me know if you are coming. If you guys didn't check out yesterday's vlog, check it out and if you are new be sure to subscribe up above and as usual we will see you all tomorrow oh by the way i never push it but we do have merchandise if you guys want to get the chicks life t-shirt or a baby onesie or something like that we do have a store so be sure to check that out and let me know if you do order anything because i always love seeing you guys get that stuff and seeing how it turns out anyways talk to you later bye bye